Supreme Court justices file in, marking the commencement of this valedictory session, a song to acknowledge the good works of a legal icon, Justice Mary Audley, as she bows out in this session held in her honor. A retinue of senior lawyers, past and present judges of courts at all levels, politicians, family and friends are all here in recognition of her meritorious service in the judiciary for over four decades. Speakers take turns to eulogize the celebrant for being a beacon of strength. I'm glad that she took the oath of office as Justice of the Supreme Court on the 6th of November 2011. Her rise to the Court of Appeal was more of a reward for hard work, inherent passion for her chosen profession, dedication to duty, and above all, resolute application of law and its true letters and words to all cases that came to her. The chairman body of benches commenced the court for the policy direction issued but warns members of the judiciary to separate themselves from politics. He also raises concern over conflicting judgments from the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court. It is high time we stopped it. It is high time also we try as much as possible to appreciate where the judiciary has jurisdiction and where the judiciary does not have jurisdiction. Cases that are reckless, Cases that are justifiable and the ones that are not. Judiciary cannot be a practicing pitch. It is not Old Trafford where you test run anything and everything. Presenting her final speech at the Apex Court, Justice Mary Audley calls for restructuring of the country. My concern stems from the fact that some of the people who have been happening on it are very serious men with acuity of intellect accompanied by their respective track records that resound and so my humble view is that the issue should be given an immediate attention lest we ignore the matter at the risk of a lost opportunity to set the ship of state on the right course. Justice Mary Audley rose to the ranks to become a Supreme Court Justice on June the 23rd, 2011. She bows out of the judiciary after 44 years of service to the nation.